How does one start a presentation in this environment? Optimistically, always. Because I think, you know, we've all heard it, we've all read it, we've all been told about it. But the bottom line is we're living it in terms of cash flow and financing requirements in businesses. There are more opportunities in this environment than there are uh, in an environment when crazy prices are being paid and money's been thrown at you, as the case may be. So there are lots more opportunities out there. But it is very much a, a, a case of active management by you. You cannot sit back and let things happen. In this type of environment, one must be very proactive and manage the situation. The topics I intend to talk today about are obviously cash management. Uh, critical, cash is king, we all know about it, but it is absolutely the most important asset one has today. Banking relationships, I'm spending at least twice a week in with banks at the moment for clients. And lastly then, you know, what type of options are we looking at to survive in this very tough environment? Cash flow and profitability, very simple, two totally different things. What today is about is cash flow. It's not necessarily profitability. One of the things that I would say about profitability at the moment is, is that you can sacrifice profitability if your cash flow is good. You can survive even if you make losses. You can't survive if you don't have cash. So managing working capital to release the cash flow that we need to run our businesses is absolutely critical in this environment. And lastly, obviously, the availability of credit. How much credit is really available? And what is most important is when you're dealing with problems, is to know about them in advance if you can, obviously in terms of like forecasting that this problem is coming down the track and start preparing for it and then as you go through it, amending those plans and not standing back and waiting for the results and letting them happen and then try and deal with them again. It's very much a case that a problem needs to be managed all the time. We're all aware of the things that take away from our cash flow. Stock eats up cash. Slow paying customers eats up cash levels of overhead that are in excess of our uh, turnover generation, our margin generation, eats up cash. Major suppliers who demand to be paid much sooner than we can get our cash in from our customers, eats up cash. So poor management of that leads to unsustainable working capital position if you don't have the right financing in place. One of the things is to make sure that you have the information to be able to manage your business, especially working capital management. So age debtor reports on your desk Monday morning every week is very important. Who are the debtors that said they would pay and didn't and chase them and effectively make people accountable for it? Most important. Sales reports. You know, are you doing that level of business that your overhead is saying you should be doing in order to stay profitable and generate cash? So make sure that, you know, the sales you thought were happening were being invoiced because sometimes sales orders are going out but they're not being invoiced until two or three weeks later. Improve your invoicing system so that you get the stuff, the invoices to your customers, which will hopefully improve the cash flow and the cash management. Stock reports. Is there an aspect of your business that's putting more stock orders in than you're aware of? Have you put limits on what stock people can order? Looking at your age creditor balances. Who's going to be knocking on the door? <clears throat> Who are the essential ones? Who are the ones that can wait? Making sure you identify all those categories of supplier. <coughs> Do I know how much cash I actually have? What are my, what's my headroom on my facilities? What payments have I got coming up the line for creditors and have I got enough cash to pay them? Making sure that the systems are telling me that the debtors that promised the money have delivered that cash so I can pay my creditors, the case may be. And making sure you schedule out the receipts from your debtors. One of the things that's absolutely critical and important is building and maintaining a cash flow model. Cash flow is the critical aspect of your business now. Um, and if you don't have the cash flow model built that tells you what cash is coming in and what cash is going out, you will find pitfalls everywhere. So identify the areas of stress and address them with potential solutions. Just to take individual levels at the working capital part of your balance sheet and looking at ways that maybe you can squeeze a little bit more out of them. Um, the first obviously is, you know, let's not just produce because we have the capacity to produce. Let's just produce for what we have orders for. Two, slow moving stock. You know, you've got to, you've got to be progressive, you've got to be proactive in relation to this. So it's, it's, it's being proactive and looking at items of stock that you should be getting rid of and just take the pain. Take the pain and get the cash in. It's far better in your pocket. You can deal with more problems when you have the cash there. Looking at the, the stock quantities that you have. Set targets and incentives. If you give people targets, it's amazing, and you say to them, if you deliver that to me in three months, there will be a bonus. Make sure if you're setting targets, you put incentives with it. So the guy is absolutely activated to delivering 
a saving for you and he gets something too. Supplier financing. A lot of the bigger suppliers are now looking at like their agents, their distributors and seeing that they have financing problems and are putting solutions in place. Work in progress. If you have long stage stock uh, production, try and get stage payments. An obvious one, can you get rid of some of the stock to your suppliers, you know, and, and give it back? Trade off margins against cash. What that means is effectively giving discounts and selling your stock below the margin that you want to survive in business. Credit control, absolutely key. I mean, everybody is actively managing their debtors now. If you're not, you're a fool. It's as simple as that. You've got to make sure that the people you're doing business with can pay you. I mean, there's no point in doing business with somebody who cannot pay you. Resolve your debtor, credit, your debtor queries quickly, obviously. You know, I mean, everybody is using any excuse they can not to pay. So sort them out. Make sure if they have no queries. Ask them, do you have any queries? Is the bill okay? At least we've got through that hurdle. Record it, send an email. Thank you very much. I know you have no queries and we can expect payment on X date, full stop. Have it in writing. When you go to court, if you've got to go to court to collect a debt and you have that, record it as a phone call, a memo pad, whatever it is, at least the court can take that into account. And it just sorts out some of the silly messing that's going on in the commercial courts that Peter Kelly is seeing at the moment. What can you do with your creditors? Obviously, maximize supplier credit. Very simple, very straightforward. Buy on a sale or return basis where you can. Some suppliers are offering it now to encourage you to take product. Deferral of payments to suppliers. Where you have a problem, where you do have a cash flow problem and you cannot pay the creditor who's looking for the money, sit down with them, talk to them and say, look, this is what I can do and work it out. And it may be that you'll find your current supply uh, credit down or reduced as the case may be, but you're getting that rump of credit that you couldn't deal with sorted out over a period of time. Revenue, another potential source of credit. The revenue is, is quite aggressive in terms of collection because it knows in this environment it'll be left behind. That's what happened in the 80s, that's what happened in the 90s, and that's what's going to happen again. Dealing with profitability, just in terms of overhead management and things like that. Obviously, the level of profitability in the business is a determinant of cash. It's a determinant, but it's not, it is not cash, as we know. So it's a case of looking at what do I need to do this level of business to make the overhead savings that I can, which will reduce my cash outflow on a monthly basis. Rationalisation, it's an easy thing to say, but it has a cost, and sometimes that cost doesn't, doesn't make it worthwhile. So you're looking at things that will save you money and get you the same result. So it's just being flexible. And then obviously procuring and tendering. The most important piece of advice I can give you is take decisive action early. We are seeing lower interest rates, but we're also seeing increasing bank margins. That's a fact. You know, any loans we're seeing at the moment, a lot of the, the, the decrease that has happened in, in, in uh, your eyebor has been taken up by bank margin. And my attitude is fine. You know, to get me to do business, I'll do that for the moment until things settle down. But I need access to loans for my clients at the moment. So I'm happy to do it. If the bank don't do it, what are the options? Well, it's the three Fs. Family, friends and fools, um, we say in clients uh, when we're, you know, especially small businesses, a lot of money in small businesses is family money, you know, or money from friends as the case may be, um, or from somebody that you happen to know. It's very, very important that you don't lose sight of the fact that there are still other sources of capital and, and finance available. It's not just banks that one has to deal with. These are, this is reality. We need access to cash. We need to find ways of financing what we have to convert cash to get us to continue in business. Identify problems early. Have timely and reliable information, obviously, in relation to it. Take professional advice. Take decisive action. Obviously, actively manage your cash flows and the working capital. Communicate with suppliers, bankers, staff. You know, make sure that you're telling them what to do. Prepare your cash flow projections. See what the stress levels are. Make sure you have plans to deal with them. Try and adhere to any payment plans you come up with. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks.